here in Columbus, Ohio, ready for game two of our Friday night doubleheader. And boy, you hope Chrome and Cannons can live up to game one. What a thriller to get week three in the PLL started. Even though it hasn't resulted in wins, how do you see this Cannons team change under Holman as Marcus's son opens the scoring right on cue. I said it in the open, he's one of the greatest shooters pro lacrosse history. Won the Accuracy Challenge a year ago. He's an eight-time pro all-star. You give him time and room to set his feet. It's like he's got a radar on the top corners. This is a beautiful rip on a lefty goalie in Scadone. Look at the placement. A Cannons with a red-hot start. Jeff Trainer makes it 2-0. And the Cannons shot out of one to start this nightcap. A four-time All-American. They love 34 here in Columbus. Game changer. Campbell weaving in Scanoni. Great stop. And I think... A mentor in Gettleman, who's such a team player, will allow Kirst, who gets beat on that shot, moments to, to discuss what's going on. Shot clock ticks down to 12. Donville, the scoop and score, and a flag flies. Uh, Pushing and shoving something. after the goal. We got something. Nolting and Manley going at it. Don't mess with Manley. As big as Nolting is, Manley's the last dude on this field you probably want to scrap with. Him. Four becomes six on five, but before the player can run on, that's a two for Cannons. Chris Aslanian. You want to talk about a stretch shooter. This guy's got some serious juice, and if you don't know his name yet, you will soon, because he can deliver from downtown. Hobart's finest has the cannons up by three. Here's Nolting, he's got room. How did he score from there? No angle, a ridiculous goal from Asher Nolting. The big body allows you to eat checks. He comes up goal line extended. And he knows he can take an extra step because if you run into this guy, you're going to bounce off him. But the awareness in the timing of shooting right here before the contact of the defense. And here's the deal. Chrome in a 5-1 hole, needing some offense. Trying to go inside to Wisnowskis, booted around and stolen away again. Ethan Rawl, the takeaway for Cannons. Oh. Home and a big hit. <laughs> Tarafenko scores. A brilliant career at Ohio State, now back in Columbus. And Tarafenko delivers. Give the assist to Justin Anderson with the pop on home and the timely hits. 21 and White laying the body. And the fan favorite, they call him Terry. Ryan Tarafenko will represent Team USA in San Diego in over a week. Passes out. A deep two. Good save by Colin Kirst. Spins through the double team. That's just terrific passing. Beautiful offense. Jordan McIntosh to finish his first goal of the season for Chrome. Yeah, that's big for McIntosh. Struggled a little bit in the first two games, but he is a proven vet. The captain of the team who Tim Sudan can rely on. Well, he can rely on his goalie too. Sean Scanoni with a tremendous stop. Terry in transition. Logan Wisnaskis finds McIntosh. And that is the belief 
in a player-coach relationship to stick with McIntosh. You know you're gonna get your looks with McIntosh. The goalie cam is bulldodging mode when he really puts his shoulder down. Bouncer and it goes! Crow have scored three in a row. That one belongs to Mike Messenger. They go right back Ooh. to him. That one off the helmet of Curse. Wisnowskis going right at Goodrich. Great battle. Spinning and scoring. What a goal. Justin Anderson ties it at five. Anderson goes into spin cycle mode at the exact right time. Watch this, he catches, feels the pressure, and in one motion spins away from Jake Pulver, but more importantly, he continues a north-south trajectory so he doesn't lose his angle. Great things happen. Chrome on a four nothing run, Holman ends it. Right off the face-off win from Stephen Kelly, Marcus Holman fires cannons back in front. A seven-second response. Your brand new, beautiful lacrosse facility here at Ohio State, and the fans have showed up in a big way. And football lines, it's it's awesome. Tied at six. Jordan McIntosh is heating up. He's got two goals to his name in this first half. Here's Asher Nolting. Lowers his shoulder, turns, dives, and scores! Asher Nolting! His second goal tonight, and it fires Cannons back in front. Young Cannons fans watching, this is what I'll tell you about this goal. He doesn't bring his stick back after the roll because he'll get trail checked. He keeps it in front of his body. And then by going flight, he increases his angle and makes it way harder to track for Scannoni. Air Nolting's got the cannons up by one. The leading scorer for this Chrome team. Gets an assist there. All tied up at seven. Logan Wisnowskis notches his second goal of the night. Of course, Asher Nolting with it. He's been the go-to guy tonight. 32 in blue. Squeezes it to Kavanaugh, who delivers just as the shot clock was about to expire. Matt Kavanaugh, the free agent coming over from Redwoods, gives Cannons back the lead. This might look like a basic pass from Asher Nolting. There's nothing basic about it. Look at the shot clock, it's winding down to two at the release from Kavanaugh, but it's a pass with pressure on. A slide in the face and pressure to find Kavanaugh. That is significant stuff by Asher Nolting. There's Ryan Drenner. Shot clock down to five. Holman steps into it and scores. Marcus Holman, a hat trick tonight. Campbell scores on the run. The rookie from Villanova perfectly placed. And the Cannons have a three goal lead. And Chrome gets the face off and cashes in with a goal. Messenger second of the night. Has to hurry. Shot clock down to three. Shooting with the shot clock expiring. And we've got a one-goal game. Logan Wisnowskis delivers again. Shut out a week ago. Flip trying to do the quick stick finish in the air. Morrill couldn't time it just right. Transition for Can. It's Ganoni. Great save. Under two minutes left in this third quarter. What a goal to tie it at 10. Dylan Malloy with the goal of the night for Chrome. There's a Chrome fan going nuts. I said it earlier. You got to get him going, bull dodging. Watch the left shoulder. He's a battering ram. He makes contact. You get defensive pressure on their heels. Max Wayne, all six, five of them. 
Not enough to stop Malloy. Jeez. He's got to have the That's strongest different. bones in the world. Holman goes low, sneaks it under Scannoni, and fires the cannons back in front. Four goals tonight for Marcus Holman. Look, Marcus Holman is putting on a shooting display tonight that is, is one for the ages from a technical perspective. This one's low to low. Scannoni is upset that he doesn't have it, but when you track Marcus Holman as a shooter, he's so varied, so Scannoni's sitting on that thinking he might rise it, right? Low to high from his area to eventually have his open spot. Ryan Trainer, how did he score that? Muscling his way through two defenders with three seconds left at the end of the third quarter. Take a bow, Ryan Drenner. I thought Drenner was the bright spot for the Cannons last year because he was an attackman in college at Towson. But they have him playing midfield, but he could go back to his natural attack spot and just absolutely feast on short stick matchups. I mean, to, to keep your balance there and to shoot off center to the opposite side of Scannoni, that is a take by Drenner. Of this third quarter, we'll have one heave for midfield. It deflects in! What a goal! It's a score from midfield! That counts! It's a two-point goal from midfield! It'll be a one-point goal. So only one ah. because it was tipped on its way in. A deflected goal. We have to take another look at this. This is incredible. So the deflection creates a one-point goal. The release from up here, obviously this would have been a two. But yeah, it deflects off an offensive player. So it's inside the two-point arc when it deflects. Yep. That's a great call. Desperation mode. It wouldn't have gone in without a deflection. So if you're a Chrome fan, don't be upset that you're only getting a one. It's a tremendous game here between Chrome and Cannons. And we're tied at 12. He's on to something. Again. He's on to something, Jay. For your position, too many people is wiped out. Goal is good. Face off. The technical foul. The one sided eye black. There's the body again. That dude is so strong. You watch the initial contact on Cade Van Rapport. He's on his heels. Once he drops the shoulder, he's on the heels. And when he's on the heels, that frees up his hands. So bam, right here. Then he stops and he regains balance with free hands. He knows it. That's a big dude. That is a big, bad dude. Trying to unlock the man down defense. An easy save for Colin Kirst, right at the whole way. Shot clock off of face-off wins is changing how dominant a face-off specialist can be. Morrill spins his way in and scores! Jackson Morrill gives Chrome their first lead of the night here in the fourth quarter. Five goals a week ago. You believe in your quarterback. Operates from X. He's got a assist at the pick from McIntosh, 29 and white. Just gives him a little bit more momentum to get upfield, but also he's got a short stick and trainer attacking him rather than the pole, and he feels the pressure. You see the strength of Errol just yeah. shoving Kelly. Kelly. Kelly actually won that, that draw. Oh, oh, and a big hit! Farrell takes out Kelly to win the ball back for Chrome. Tried to squeeze it in, Kielty got in the way. Great interception from Kielty in this fourth quarter. Cavanaugh going to work. Here's Asher Nolting. 
Trying to bulldoze his way in, and he does! Asher Nolting ties it at 13. A hat trick for Nolting tonight. That goal, the biggest of the bunch. When you're a big body ex attackman, you know you can take extra steps upfield because you can absorb contact. So take two, three extra steps. You get the pay dirt. We're all tied in Columbus. Nolte. Switch. Off to Kavanaugh. Shoots and scores! Matt Kavanaugh delivers! And the cannons in front with a minute 45 to play. You hear me saying he's got the switch. Nolting uses the pick. When he gets the shorty, everyone's on red alert. You got to help and support. So Nolting is the passer there. I told you, Jay, good things happen even when he doesn't beat his man because he has the vision to find a teammate. As Coach Holman knows, that first victory, you can taste it. It's close, Coach. You got that guy finishing. Justin Anderson goes low, cursed there to meet it. His 12th save of the night. Matt Campbell with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Found Drenner, great save, Scannone. Cannons have it. And Dana Boyle is with the winning head coach, Brian Holm. He's got a big smile on his face. He's gonna get congratulated. Coach Holman, your first win as a head coach yeah. for the hand Cannons. How does it feel? Their first win. It's awesome. Yeah, just so proud of them, man. I'm fighting so hard, you know? Just trusting me and the coaches and what we want to do. So, it's great. Yeah. Uh, you got to love that, Marcus. That's a great moment. What's it like to get the win with your son? Uh, I mean, they're all my sons, yeah. all right? I love them all the same, and it's special. I'm just so grateful for all of this and to be with him. It's, it's awesome, but that's just one game. We got, we got a lot of stuff in front of us, though. So. What did you learn about your team that will help you move forward in the PLL season? I just learned that winning feels really good, and I was hoping they would get that feeling today, and now we can continue to get better, because that's been my message right from the get-go, and that's life in general, right? Every day, just come out and do your best and just continue to work to get better. And that'll be the message from now until the end of the season. So. Congratulations, Coach. Thank Go you, get a towel. Thank you. Thank you. Ten games played in the 2023 season in the PLL. Eight have been decided by a single goal, including Cannons and Chrome. Cannons' first win of the year, 14-13. For Paul Carcaterra, Dana Boyle, our entire terrific crew behind the scenes, I'm Jay Alter saying thanks so much for watching. Good night from Columbus, and we will see you tomorrow noon on ESPN, Archers and Chaos.